Oh yeah, you guys are in for a treat. Y'all gonna be stuck with this face for the next few days because Julia and Anthony are away and Keys is on a sailing trip with his family and won't be back until Tuesday. It's like eerily quiet in here. Also, Brittany, Lampy, and Manny are at a mascot convention, so go figure. I, I guess on to the news. <laughs> Toshiba has unveiled new NAND flash memory packages that could enable SSDs with capacities up to 16 terabytes. The company's process incorporates 128 or 256 gigabyte chips stacked 8 or 16 times. Apparently, the new configuration only supports 1 gigabyte per second data transfer as this is meant for server applications after all. But I'm sure we can figure out a way to use that storage. Give us a chance, Toshiba. Give us a chance. Microsoft is making good on its promise to provide tools for porting iOS apps to Windows 10. The company referred to the tools as Project Islandwood when they were first announced, but now they've published the tools under the name Windows Bridge for iOS on GitHub. While the tools are currently in preview mode, Microsoft is hoping the coding community will contribute to the project over time to make it more polished before its actual public release in the fall. Windows Bridge for Android is also coming soon, but will only allow Android apps to run on mobile devices and not desktop systems. Systems. That's strange. Something that Chrome OS can do that Windows can't? Blasphemy! And the FCC is continuing its role of giving the telecom industry a kick in the pants by urging carriers to turn off copper networks and switch to fiber. Carriers need to get approval from the FCC before doing so and also need to give three months notice to provide continuous service to the customers while making the switch. However, while fiber allows greater internet speeds, it won't allow phones to work during a power outage like copper does. So carriers will be required to offer eight hour backup battery systems if customers want it. I say it's about time. Get on the fiber train, everybody. Except you, Google, you're, you're already here. So high five. I have no one to high five. There's no one here. Since today would have been Key's turn to host Netlinked, I bring you quick bits in the fashion that Key's always bring you quick bits. <clears throat> quick bits. Nailed it. Korean researchers have found a way to use sound to take drones out of the sky. The whole concept is based around the drone's gyroscope and how it reacts to resonant frequencies. In a recent tweet, Bethesda Games revealed that Fallout 4 will not end when the main story is over and that there is no level cap. Players can keep leveling and playing. Have you ever wanted a mobile solution to edit 4K footage that was smaller than a notebook? Check out Narbox on Kickstarter. It has a quad-core CPU, 8-core GPU, and 128 gigs of storage. I guess you could say it's pretty gnarly. No one's here to boo my jokes. A company called Zimperium has released a tool that detects stage fright of Android vulnerability. Meanwhile, software company Checkpoint also has an app to help find apps that may use the certificate vulnerability. And Sony's PlayStation View TV service has launched in Dallas and in Miami. The service only works with PS3s and PS4s for now, with more compatible devices to roll out soon. Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked down in the description. Hi, I'd like to get a double restretal venti half soy non-fat decaf organic chocolate brownie iced coffee, please. Speaking of coffee, our two resident coffee fanatics, NCIX Julia and NCIX Anthony, are both at Otakuthon in Montreal this weekend till Sunday. So, for the people who live in Montreal or those of you who are planning to attend Otakuthon, go visit the NCIX booth and say hello. I hear they have a lot of swag to give away, plus there are gaming PCs to check out. Also, we'd like to thank everyone who has commented and tweeted at us so far with hashtag AskNCIX. We hope to be doing a Q&A segment or episode soon, so keep the questions coming. The questions can be tech related or maybe even questions about us personally or even what color socks I'm wearing today. Any questions will count towards fans with benefits as well. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and edit this episode all by myself in this lonely, empty studio with no one around. Also, I'll see you Monday as well because... Like I said at the beginning, Keys won't be back from his sailing trip. New outro. Yeah. But I'm sure we could figure out a way to use that storage. Give us a chance, Toshiba. Damn hiccups.
Microsoft is making good on its promise to provide tools for porting iOS apps to Windows 10. Damn it. Tools under the name Windows Bridge for iOS on GitHub. Who? 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 Who?